Bonus. We had a little bit of testimony a little in uh, Sunday school. I mean, if you want to share any of those again, that's okay to share with everybody else. So, anybody want to start us with testimonies this morning? Brenda's going to come and start. I'm just grateful um, for lots of happenings this past week, but um, one of them I was telling Shelly about this morning. I wore this dress. The Christmas party of 2007 when Steve worked for uh, Randy Prater and it was my first skinny black dress and I'm finally back down into it so I'm I'm grateful for that um, and we have had an astounding um, run since Pizza Hut has been closed and I hate that it's at their detriment but they they needed to renovate and uh, so it's not stealing customers or, you know, it's just they've they've chosen to try us out and we're hoping to keep some of them coming back from time to time. But it's just been really great for business and uh, really appreciate it while it's lasting and pray that it continues forward. We have uh, Harold, our boss, rewards us with after we reach a certain amount in sales per on a, any given day. Um, he calls it a green day and... That is where, when we reach that goal, uh, he pays us a dollar an hour more for the hours that we work that day. We've had three of them in a row. Usually there's three or four in a month in a four-week period. We have had seven this four-week period so far with one more week to go. And three in a row. We had Thursday, Friday, and last night. And I'm just seeing how this is ch changing um, some, of, some of our staff our team in their mindset uh, being prepared and not just for pizza sales but the urgency is carrying over into other areas of their life and that's really really amazing to see um, and in the mind you know it's like if we prepare like we prepare for a green day at work. We fill racks of pizza crusts and we make sure all the meat pans are full and the veggies are chopped and the cheese is thawed and on and on it goes. And I got to thinking about that. If we're preparing for a green day at work, uh, we should prepare for the Lord's green day, um, whenever that may be. And I had have to admit, I had kind of been slacking with and doing my devotionals on a regular basis, all of them. I mean, I may do a couple of them and think, oh, I'll do some tonight, and then I don't get around to it. And, and it just kind of hit me yesterday morning that the urgency, that's when you start to slack off, that's when you need it more. And so I'm committed to when church is out today. I didn't get the chance to this morning. This one right here is an early riser. He likes, whoa, he likes to get up early. So anyway, I'm going to do them as soon as we get home. I might need to do toothpicks on the eyelids, but I'm going to do it anyway. Anyway, I'm just grateful for as far as we've come in this last little over a year, year and, getting towards a year and a half now. And uh, another thing that I wanted to bring up the other night, night before last, there was a gentleman that came in to Pizza on the Run asking if he could do dishes or sweep the floor for us or, you know, whatever we needed him to do because he was living out of his van. He's waiting on a job at the sugar factory and he hasn't heard anything yet. And a uh, real clean cut guy, looked nice. I don't, I don't know if, whether he's, he's just in a rough spot. And I remember a year ago right now we were in that same, not, really knowing if we were going to have money for groceries or where the next check was coming from, where the next funds were coming from. And he said, well, I'm, I'm hungry, so I'm going to go out and look for something to do. So, and I told him, I'll buy you a pizza. I'm, I'm, I told him, you know, a year ago, my husband and I went through a rough time, and I'm not going to send anybody out of my store hungry. And so Katie and I gathered up funds, and we paid for a pizza for him, and I sent him out with one of the bottles of water that carry in my purse usually and I just felt like that was the Lord telling me thank you and giving thanks to everybody that helped us out when we were rough going through a rough time and being able to give that back to somebody really felt good so I'm I'm just saying you know I'm thanking him not him thanking me I'm thanking him 
and being able to pay it forward felt good. So. Good to testify from our heart, isn't it? It is to share. Uh, anybody else want to come and share this morning? Megan's up. I have a couple praise praises this past week. On Tuesday, Paul, me, and Savannah went kayaking down the creek behind our house looking for our dog who has run off. And little did we know there was a tree across the whole entire creek and we crashed into it got savannah out so she wouldn't drown paul and i can swim so we stood up and did it but it was pretty rough current and not that great i got all bruised up but god it could have been way worse god protected us so uh, we were thankful for that this past weekend or this weekend lily has been up in the mountains with a friend of hers and their family and I got a text yesterday morning saying that there's six inches of snow there and it was still snowing and if it was going to continue to snow, they were going to come home. Well, they started down the mountain and they jackknifed. They're all okay, but it was so slick that they couldn't continue. So she's up there now hoping that the roads clear up so she can come back to us. So I know God was protecting them with that. And um, I just ask you guys to pray that she can come home safely today. Did anybody notice that Lily wasn't with us? <laughs> oh. Yes, pray for the family and, and Lily up there getting back. And Paul shared that story about the little wreck out there <laughs> on, on Tuesday night. I said, only you, Paul, would, <laughs> only you. But we're glad for your safety. Yeah, that could have been um, a disaster, too. It could have been. The Lord is good. Anybody else want to share testimony this morning? Connie. I'd like to thank the Lord for all the blessings he's given us and um, and the things he keeps doing for Josh. It's just amazing. Um, you mentioned about Jerry. Uh, also, Jerry was telling me a story that uh, when they were at the swimming pool that Josh was talking to some lady and Jerry doesn't really know what he was saying. But anyway, um, later she came up to him and she says, he's a good kid. This is what she was telling Jerry. He's a good kid. I really like him, but we're not going to talk Christianity. So I don't know what that was all about, but he's doing his part, and it's awesome to see that. And it's just a blessing that he can do what he's doing. Um, a couple weeks ago or so, I bought him a three-wheel bike. And so we've been really blessed other than rain. But, I mean, that's a blessing, too. <laughs> But he's come so far, he can actually ride it. We never thought he'd ever see another bike. He feels kind of embarrassed because it's a three-wheeler, but he does awesome. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of blessings there, even sometimes when we don't see him or we don't always show it. Anyway, I'm just very grateful. I love the Lord so much, and I know he does too. Thank you. Thank you. I'm... We need, all need to be a little bit more like Josh and be willing to share, don't we? Just like that with anybody that's around us and our faith and trust in the Lord. Anybody else want to share testimony this morning? Sounds like Savannah. <laughs> well, let's go to our next hymn then. Let's sing. 